eggplants and I grow them at home and love to make an eggplant parmesan, which is a really easy dish with my little variations on it. Melanzane is what we call them at okay. home. Okay. Yeah. I think mine might be slightly different, but I'm going to get you to please start dicing okay. those for me. I can do that for you. Nice and small. They're going to shrink when we bake them, but okay. this is wonderful having you here because normally it's me doing it on my own. I think they're an undervalued or underestimated veggie. And often very cheap as well. Correct. Yeah, yeah. really cheap. Yeah. So I grow these and they go kind of wild and suddenly you have more than you imagined. Wow. And this is the dish that I knock up. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to dice that for me and then we're going to pop it on this tray when you're ready. So okay. I'm going to pop this here for you. When it's diced up, yeah? Yes, when it's diced up it goes there. And I'm going to start on a really simple Napoli sauce. Oh. Alrighty, so very simple. And this yep. is where it's always a little bit nerve-wracking cooking classic Italian in front of the Italian man well, and the chef. It's a lot of pressure. Just feel comfortable because I'm comfortable cooking Indian food in front of you. So just yes. channel some of that he energy. He is a chef though. There's a, there is a different level of pressure. But I'm going to pop some beautiful cold pressed extra virgin olive oil in here and then I'm going to pop some garlic in the pan. Now I, when I make a Napoli, actually chop this really quite chunkily. Yes. Is Chun the word? Is Chun that what you do? Chunkily or chunky. And I have to say that my grandmother, my nonna, was the best cook in the entire world and yes. she wasn't a trained chef. So to me, Italian food is cooking from the heart. And if you're able to do that, yeah. it's going to be delicious. I think that's why genuinely I cook a lot of it, to be honest, because I, I love the flavours, but also there's a lot of soul here. I'm thinking maybe you're not Indian after all. Maybe there's a bit of Italian in you. <laughs> maybe there is. Yeah. Maybe in a past life, you never know, Richo, yeah. you never know. But this is my favourite as well. So if you come to my house, this is all through the garden. Time, something we don't have enough of together, don't you reckon? About four, quarter to four. Oh. We go. So, onto there, can you pop some salt, please? I'm going to do salt. some pepper. Do you want me to put some extra virgin olive oil on there? I would. Beautiful. Okay. So, the oil we're using gives us a beautiful flavour. It's this Originale olive oil. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Origin. Really versatile, nice flavour. Use it as a salad dressing. You can cook with it. Very versatile. May I have that wooden spoon? Thank Originale. you. Originale. Yes. Oh, she pulled that one out, didn't I you? I did. Well, that's the name of it, my friend. That okay. is the name. Now, I've got some really good quality canned tomatoes. They are very good. Nice they and are. thick. Yes. Uh, and they're made from small tomatoes, almost cherry tomatoes. They are. They are cherry tomatoes. Packed full of flavour, really sweet and juicy. Correct. Can you pick just a couple of oregano leaves for me? I grow this at home as well and it's fantastic. So yeah, marjoram, oregano, great uh, fresh like this and yes. also fantastic dried right. as well. Agreed. Yeah. So this is done and I'm going to allow this to gently simmer for 30 minutes so we can get those flavours out. Yep. That's going in the oven, 200 degrees for 30 minutes and then we're going to pop this together. that eggplant look. Could you start sprinkling it in here? Yeah. I it's... could just eat it off the tray like this. And can I be honest, I actually do. So I will often do like a lamb dish or something and I'll pop that on top just to increase veg. Just a little bit, not all of it. Just a tiny bit's going there. So, so a tiny bit of this yeah. in the bottom here? Half of it. Half, half of, of it. Okay. Yeah, Good. beautiful. That's not, that's half is not a tiny bit. That's quite, quite a bit. It is half that's indeed, like, isn't that's it? That's like one eggplant. It is one eggplant, correct. And then I like to put the Napoli on top. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I do a bit of a layering thing here. It's like a lasagna. Now, my nonna would make something sort of similar, yes. melanzana pizziola. So she would get the eggplant, dip it in flour and oh. egg and then fry it and yes. then she would layer it up with cheese and tomato. Oh. So this is almost, you know, making... It is it... almost. And I know a lot of people when they're making this dish will actually fry it. But I bake it. But if I wanted to fry it in a, in a fry pan, I could do you that could, as well. You okay, could, absolutely. Easy. This is just the way I do it. And then I have that eggplant in a container and I literally sprinkle on top of salads and we things. One little one there. All the olive oil as well has gone in because it's full of flavour. Such a simple sauce. Do you want me to smooth it around yeah, a little bit? Okay. Thank you. Oh, look at this gentle assistant. And then you see that mozzarella. Oh, this Bring is the it over. Good stuff. And go hard. Oh, look at okay. us. We're both. You and I, we have a problem with cheese. Should we put it all on? Yeah, go for it. I oh, know the cheese is. Go for like... it. It's my happy place. It's your happy place. I could I sit in a bath with this stuff really? and I'd be content. That'd yes. Be interesting. This is going back in the oven just for about 10 minutes so this gets all nice and melted and then you can dig in. Now, this is my happy place. Look at that melted cheese, eggplant. We're going to pop some basil leaves on here. It's not your only happy place, is it? It's not my only one, no. There's a few of them. I've got this, many. This, this is, is one of them. Okay. 
I'm just trying to make this look glorious. I'm trying to compete with you. So oh. let's pop the basil. Look at that. It looks great, but also the basil on the hot dish also gives off a, an aroma, which yes. I really, really love. Here, I'm making this for you, my friend. I'm going to dig into this for you. I thought I'm you were just, some... just, just helping yourself. Oh, no. So I've got the cheese. Look at that. Look that, at that eggplant. Goodness, the olive oil soaked up all the fire. I'm going to make it messy for you. This That's is right. a stitch up. Go oh, for it, my you. friend. I'll just put a new shirt on and, and we're ready Perfect. to go. Perfect. I'm going to have a bit of this too. Mm. I love the eggplant. Really, really delicious. It's soaked up all that flavour. I love the sauce you made. Cheese on top as well. Simple, 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 simple. but really packed with flavour, and that's what it's about. And I love the bread that goes with that's it. That's for you, my friend. But you can do it with pasta, whatever you like. Yeah. But this is one I think they should try at home. Try at home? Try it now. <laughs> try it anywhere you try want. Try it anywhere. Exactly.